hello uh, welcome to today's class uh, in today's class we will see how prolog answers questions and we will continue this discussion in uh, in next class also um, so a question to prolog is always a sequence of one or more goals uh, here we have the example of equation where we have only a single goal where we want to find out whether Pam is the mother of Bob or not. So a question to prologue is always a sequence of one or more goals. Uh, and to answer a question, prologue tries to satisfy all the goals that are in the question. So here we will try to satisfy the goal, mother, whether Pam is the mother of Bob or not. And what do you mean by satisfy? Uh, to satisfy a goal means to demonstrate that the goal is true assuming that the relations in a program are true so in our prologue program we write the relations as fact or rules and using this fact and rules if we can demonstrate uh, that the goal is true then we say that the goal is satisfied Uh, in other words, to satisfy a goal means to demonstrate that the goal logically follows from the fact and rules in the program. Uh, if the question contains variables, Prolog also has to find what are the particular object. Uh, for example, here we have replaced, uh, we have used a variable in our question now. So now to satisfy this goal, a uh, prolog has to find out what particular objects uh, for which object and uh, this goal will be satisfied maybe for multiple uh, sometimes for multiple uh, objects the uh, goal may be satisfied in which case prolog will list all the uh, all the values of that variable so prolog has to find what are the particular objects for which the goals are satisfied if we have variables um, in the goal uh, next uh, let us try to understand um, how prolog answers questions using uh, this example uh, this discussion will be incomplete uh, for this example and we will continue in the next class and then we have another example uh, second example in today's class which of course will be uh, complete in today's discussion itself uh, so here is our question so the question is whether Tom is ancestor of Pat or not and this is our prolog program that we have and now to answer this question we see that we have a fact which says that Bob is the parent of Pat and we also have a rule which says that if X is the parent of Z, then X is the ancestor of Z. So now, by using this, using this fact and this rule, we can say that since Bob is the parent of Pat, Bob is also an ancestor of Pat. That follows from this rule. So by combining this fact and this rule, we can say that uh, Bob is also an ancestor of Pat because Bob, Bob, Bob is a parent of Pat. And this fact is called a derived fact. Uh, derived fact, it has been derived using the fact and rules in the program. And this particular um, process, uh, this inference step can be written as in this format where we say that since 
bob is a parent of pat it also says uh, it means that bob is also an ancestor of pat another way of saying this is from parent bob comma pat it follows that ancestor bob comma pat so now we have this derived fact remember our original goal is to say uh, uh, satisfy uh, ancestor tom comma pat this is the goal that we are trying to satisfy and in the process we have derived this new fact and and now we also have another fact in a program which says that tom is the parent of bob and we have a rule which says that if x is the parent of y and y is the ancestor of z then x is the ancestor of z and now by combining uh, this fact this derived fact and this rule we can say that ancestor tom is the ancestor of pat why because tom is a parent of bob and bob is the ancestor of pat hence tom will be ancestor of pat according to the, this rule uh the inference process now uh is as follows first uh, in the inference process the first step was that from parent bob comma pet uh, we had ancestor bob comma pet and now from parent tom comma bob and ancestor bob comma pet from these two fact we now have uh, ancestor tom comma pet and this was as you can see this was our original goal so when we have derived this new fact we actually have satisfied uh, the original uh, goal and and prolog will now answer yes for this question um but the exact process that prolog follows uh, we have still not seen uh that we will discuss in the next class uh because we have two rules for ancestor the first time this rule was selected the second time this rule is selected so how does prolog know which rule to select uh, and actually back tracking will be involved in the search process and that expect we will discuss in the next class we will look at another example uh yeah so this was the proof this is the proof we call this this as the proof of our goal uh if we say what is proof and this is the meaning of the proof the inference process uh so this is the proof for uh, satisfying this goal and how exactly um a prolog finds this proof we will discuss in the next class and now we'll look at another example um which is about the mother relation and this discussion you may find similar to something we had already discussed in one of the earlier class uh but let me uh, cover it so here let's say our question is whether pam is mother of bob or not um now to satisfy this goal what prolog will do is try to find and this mother relation in our program we don't have any fact about the mother relation but we have one clause here where uh, this actually is a rule this clause is actually a rule and the head of the rule match with the goal so we are trying to prove the goal uh, mother pam comma bob and prolog loops for clauses about the mother relation so we'll try to find out 
clause about the mother relation and um, we don't have any fact we only have a rule so when we find this rule in our program we say that the head of this rule match the goal because this head is also about mother and our question is also about mother and there is a match this is called match once we find the uh, what does the match says and uh, what does this rule says is that this rule is true for all x and y and hence it should also be true for pam and bob and so now by instantiating x with pam and y with bob we get uh, this rule which says pam will be mother of bob if pam is the parent of bob and pam is female uh, so this head is what prolog is trying to prove as because that's what our question was so this in this rule this is the head that we are trying to prove and we know that in a rule this head will be true if the body is true and the body consists of two goals so our job of trying to prove whether pam is the mother of bob is now replaced with two goals where we have to prove that pam is the parent of bob and pam is female so our original goal is now replaced with two new goals and our original goal will be satisfied if we can satisfy these two goals uh, the first goal in the body can be easily satisfied because we already have a fact in our program and you know that fact are always true unlike rules fact are always true so since we have a fact which says that pam is the parent of bob hence this goal is satisfied this is true this goal is satisfied and to now to satisfy the second goal we also have another fact in our program which says that pam is female and hence both the goals are satisfied since both the goals are satisfied we can say that the head of this rule is satisfied and if the head of the rule is satisfied we can say that yes pam is the mother of bob so the question so the answer to the question whether pam is the mother of bob or not will be true so we saw how this question gets answered prolog have to find matching clauses from the program it has to find matching clauses which match the question and later on for the derived goal also we have to perform match and by performing match we can satisfy our goals so this example was easy because we had only one matching clause so we don't have two alternative or three alternatives we had only one matching rule uh, only one rule which match with the goal so it was easy for prolog to answer however as i said uh, for the ancestor relation we have two different rules this is the first rule this is the second rule hence uh, on in the process of selecting which rule to apply at a given situation uh, backtracking may be involved and we will discuss that in our next class so this is all for today i'll stop here uh, bye